Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today I'm gonna to show you how we save tons of money. Remember, I have seven kids, yeesh. Anyway, I'm distracted. Uh, but we save tons of money by making a meal plan for the entire month. So let's get to it. That's right, we actually do our menu plan for the entire month. We do our shopping for the entire month all at once. We do save some money for things that will expire quickly, like milk and whatever. Wait a minute, milk never goes bad around here. What am I talking about? We only have a gallon of milk for maybe a day or two. Regardless, anyway, um, so we basically do our shopping for the entire month as much as we can, and it saves us on average about 40% when we stick to our uh, menu plan. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. Hopefully it'll help you out. So let's get to it. So, next thing what we do is we actually get out our recipe book. As you can see, it is large. Sorry, baby. <laughs> and in charge. How much, it's gotta be solid five pounds or more. What do you Probably, mean? yeah. Maybe seven. Yeah. And so we get out our recipe book, we get out our planner, and, and the very first thing, the easiest part of this is Thursdays is leftover day. You always gotta have a leftover day. Oh yeah. Every week, you don't wanna be wasting your food. So we uh, uh, we use Thursday as our leftover day, and the reason why is because I work at a church and that's a rehearsal night for us. So it's a no brainer. We gotta get out of here before normal dinner time. Yep. So it's clean out the fridge. We don't we don't live in a place that we have pigs or else. Mm. Uh, I wish. She wants the piggies. I don't know what that means. Maybe we're milking goats. I don't know. So um, we'll start out with leftovers. So here, your writing is better than mine. Yes. I'll talk and you. Leftovers. So what we're doing now is we always try to make sure that we have, generally we try to have a spaghetti, something Italian. It's cheap. Because it's cheap and the kids like it. We generally try to have spaghetti at least once every other week. Yeah. Um, some sort of Italian. We yeah. try to have some sort of Mexican food every other week at least. We also try to uh, uh, have try. at least salad, you know, just yeah. salad and bread. Salad and bread. We try to limit the meat just because it's expensive. And it's um, not exactly the most healthy thing. No. I mean, no. we love it. As you can see, it's made me the man <laughs> I am today. But um, And we raise our own chicken, so our cost is a little lower with the chicken. So we try to have more chicken only than Only a little lower? She's been, she's been fudging the numbers, I'll tell nope, you what. Nope, nope. 78 cents a pound on our chicken. It's too expensive. No! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> anyway, so leftover day is, is taken care of. Now let's go ahead and we're going to whittle down. We're going to start with spaghetti because we know that's easy. Yep. One thing we also try to do we try to think about days that are gonna be hard to prepare uh, a more costly meal or more expensive meal. Or, or if we know that, like uh, for, for our example, Wednesdays are, are difficult because we're at church. Right. And so in the evening, all the kids are doing different stuff. And uh, so Wednesday has to be either a no-brainer meal or, you know, right now, we, we've been doing fellowship with some families at church so we either bring like a potluck, something very easy to make, uh, but when that's when that season's gone, when when we're actually not doing that, it'll be a little easier. Has to be easy. Has yeah. to be fast. So you got to be thinking about that too, so that when you're married to this, if you're not married to this, one of the things we found out is that if you if you plan this out and then you're like, I don't want to have spaghetti today. I don't. I don't. Which happens a lot. If you're not married to it, you end up spending too much money. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. because you're like, oh, I have to have meat. I crave meat. <laughs> well, and the nice thing about having this meal plan, if you've already got all of these meals planned for the month and you don't want to have spaghetti for dinner, swap it with something else. That's true, but you've got to keep what's here. Yes. That's the, that is the key. That's the money saver. That's the key. So another thing we do is we actually keep several of our old ones. So it gives us ideas. I mean, we do try to add new meals into our plan, and that's really, really nice because you don't want to have the same dang thing month after month after month. But this, you've got Old Faithful. 
We we are pizza snobs. Oh, big time pizza snobs. We make it from scratch. When I mean scratch, I mean scratch. Yeah. The dough, the sauce, everything is made from scratch. Domino's so, doesn't cut it anymore. I can't even remember the last time I've had Domino's. Ugh. Yeesh. We call that utility pizza. It's, no, no, it's utility food. Oh, that too. Because it's not really pizza. No. It's not pizza at all. No, it's gross. It's food in that it's edible, if you consider, I guess, the chemicals. Cardboard. And all. Anyway, so <laughs> pizza, salad, we those are staples around here. They're cheap for us because we make everything from scratch, or, or as much as we can. Yeah. That saves a lot of money, too. Ooh, we need to do broccoli cheese soup again. Yeah. Yum. This is sides who and the heck, soups. Who the heck organized this? Just saying. Stop. Just There's saying. French onion soup. And why is that? that you can soup. say, just saying, and you can get away with saying whatever you want. Just saying. Hey, you look terrible today. Just saying. Because it's nicer than saying something else. But why would you say it at all? It, yeah, right. I don't get it. It's dumb. See who does the grocery shopping? What the? <laughs> That's not true. We both go grocery shopping. Uh, he just doesn't pay attention to the prices. Oh, no, 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 no. I do. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'll tell you what, another thing, she's ridiculous. If, if I go grocery shopping, it, it takes us one hour to do the whole thing. If I allow, if I allow her to do her thing. Oh, wow. And we don't get any better deals. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Wow. So for us, chicken meals don't really cost pretty much anything because yeah. we raise our own chicken. We've already got the feed. We're, we've got laying birds and we've got meat birds. Mm -hmm. So for us, chicken is extremely economical. So when it comes to meats, chicken usually is the trump card, even though we still have a lot of beef on the, on the, on the menu plan, but we're trying to kind of switch away from that. We can't have a cow or multi-cow. Yeah. Multiple cows. Or piggies. So if any of you guys out there in the interweb world want to give us some property, then we can have cows. Thanks. Please. Anyway. Um, can't have cows, but chicken is a go-to meal because it's cheap for us. Uh, I mean, and so we'll put like a lot of like um, lemon chicken pasta. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. We do, um, if you've never had a chicken paprikash, that is delightful. So yummy. Yeah, we're gonna put that on there. Yeah, and Krista was just mentioning that she saw a recipe for stuffed peppers that is chicken-based. So you've got your rice and you've got your cheese and you've got all that stuff in there that's chicken-based. So that would cost us pretty much nothing during the mm -hmm. summer yeah. when we're growing our own peppers. We've got tons of rice. Rice is cheap. Mm -hmm. Chicken's cheap. Yep. Yeah. So another thing that you have to take into consideration is if you're going to be doing any entertaining, you're having friends over, taking those items into uh, consideration, what, what dietary things, um, and making sure that you can come up with a meal that's delicious, mm -hmm. but is still not gonna break your bank. I yeah. mean, just because you have friends over doesn't mean you can go have filet mignon. Oh no, that's, that's insane. No, and, and if they're your friends, really, they're gonna know you're poor anyhow. <laughs> Exactly. So I need to tell you about our three for one meals. Now when stuff like turkey comes on sale, mm -hmm. you, you can get them really, really cheap, obviously after Thanksgiving and stuff like that. You throw them in the freezer. Now why, why am I calling it a three for one meal? The reason is you get the first meal and then there's always leftovers. So there's a second meal. You can either freeze that or put it in the fridge. But then you take the carcass of the bird when it's done and you make broth for several, so, several meals. Yeah. So you're getting three, well. More than that. A lot more than yeah. that really when you consider it, but we call them three for one meals. Yeah. Now on Sundays, since we have chickens, eggs are free, pretty Lentiful. much. So we basically every other Sunday, cause, cause I work at a church and, and I'm there until noon usually. And then we come home to have a big brunch kind of a thing. That's kind of our main meal of the day, we'll snack in the evening, but um, so it, we largely will have some sort of breakfast. Yeah. Kind of like, um, I don't know. Uh, well, biscuits and gravy oh, yeah, are so oh, so yummy. So we're kind of having a, a real late lunch and yeah. early dinner. There's generally eggs involved. Mm -hmm. And we'll have pancakes or waffles. Yeah, yeah. Eggs. 
So, but to keep it fresh, we don't do that every week. We'll do it every other week. But once again, for us, that's incredibly affordable because we don't have to buy the eggs. They're right. always here. And when you've got seven kids and teenage boys. Yeah. Let me just say this. My son, Jonathan, who's, who's behind the camera right now, he's, he's, he's the guy that's smiling at me and going, what are you going to say, Dad? He's 15 and taller than Dad. Yeah. Yeah. However, we have to cut him off at four eggs mm -hmm. for a normal breakfast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So another meal that we have that doesn't cost us a lot. Hi, Daisy. There's <laughs> Daisy, the dog. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Yay. Yeah. So another meal that we have okay. that doesn't cost us a lot yeah. because we had some pigs raised and slaughtered is what we call Christmas meat. I don't know what the actual real it's name. Daisy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the actual real name for it is, but it's a German recipe, and it was originally made with pork and veal. It's, 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 well, how is it made? It's baked? You roast it um, for a short amount of time, and then you chop it up into little pieces. You slice it, and then you cut it into little pieces. And then you make gravy out of the drippings. But and there's then you clove just, in it? Oh, oh, clove and bay leaf peppercorns, and then you take that meat and you simmer it in the gravy in the oven for a really long time. And then you, and then so, fresh baked bread. Fresh baked bread, you pour it over oh, your bread. It is so good. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, and it's usually very expensive because of the veal, but we figured out you don't need the veal, you can just use pork. Yeah. So for us, it's an extremely cheap meal that is very, very decadent, so oh, tasty. So good, reminds yep. us of home. Well, it's Christmas meat, because mm -hmm. you only usually get it at Christmas, because in the past we were using the veal, oh. too expensive. Yeah. Just so use the pork. Good. Thanks, Mom. All right, so we've basically filled out our entire <laughs> thing. I'll show you in a minute what we got. But this is what's crazy now. Keep in mind, we are feeding nine people good stuff. Um, we, we have our own chicken, so chicken doesn't really cost us. A lot eggs. of the garden vegetables don't cost us. Mm -hmm. Eggs don't cost us. Some of the dairy doesn't cost us. But check that out. I'm gonna bring that over there. That right there is what it cost us to feed nine people for an entire month, $244. And we're gonna get that number even down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get it down. But it can be done, people. You can do this. It doesn't need to cost you an arm and a leg to feed yourself well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking just tasty meals. And it's not rice and beans every night. You know? And nothing out of a box. Right. No, nothing out of a box. It's, you know, we're having chicken enchiladas and, and broccoli cheese soup. and Nachos, you know, potato stuff that soup. Is not rabbit food, but it's not out of a box. No, we don't do chemicals as no. much as we can possibly right. avoid them. Right. Monsanto. Bad, bad. Stay away from Monsanto. So here's what our completed meal plan looks like. And uh, just keep in mind, you don't need to spend a ton of money on feeding your family well and a lot. I mean, we, we have a lot of people to deal with uh, in terms of making sure that we have a healthful uh, diet. So there it is. You can do this. Yeah. So my lovely wife, Krista, and I, Brad, from the Big Family Homestead, say you can absolutely do this. It's nothing hard, no brainer stuff. You can manage your food, your plate, your, your well, your meal plan. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you just plan it out, yeah. it's gonna save you a ton of money. Yeah. I mean, we're feeding nine people on 250 bucks a month. Granted, that's raising our own chicken and a lot of that kind of stuff. But even if you if if you added that in, you're still talking less than 400 bucks. There's no need to go crazy on food. Yeah, you just don't need to do it. So anyway, there it is. Uh, once again, Krista. Hi or bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Brad, bye. <laughs> with Big Family Homestead, and guess what? You have an amazing day. Yeah.